Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more binding. No, god damn it, no! <laughs> my true, my colors, they're bleeding. <laughs> the true colors are being exposed. No, that's not true. I've played way too much Binding of Isaac the last couple days. Um, I'm like three weeks ahead of my Binding of Isaac videos. They only go out like one a day because I don't want to overload the channel with uh, content that doesn't match my, my typical content, but I've really been having fun with it, so I've recorded a ton. And uh, that's kind of where my mind is right now these days. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter too much. EU4, also a very awesome, cool game. That's what we're actually playing right now. I like our uh, speed here. Why is it so much faster for us to build on it here? Was oh, so it because I can't afford the ship? You're not going to let me hover over the tooltip? It's annoying. I'm aware. I can see the price. I want to know why it is that many days. So local autonomy. I'm guessing we just have no local autonomy here. Yeah. Oh wow, 52%. 37%. It's fairly sizable. Well, we have to rename the cannon. It's it's a matter of tradition. The big Bertha cannon. So, 100 years from today, we'll just be, like, playing and randomly, like, be looking at our army composition. And I'll be shuffling troops around, and you'll be like, Oh, the cannon was the Big Bertha. Yeah. That's the initial cannon. The very first re regiment of cannonry. Cannonry? Cannons that we built. God, so soon. March of... soon. March of two years from now. Who we'll plays a theocracy again? I really had fun playing as the, the, the two towns. And you play as the Papal State. Is that kind of like the... I've not played as the Papal State. Should move my ally? Castile's allied to Albanian rival Naples. You've chosen to ally Naples? Naples is far too small for you to incorporate. So what's your plan there? What's the, what's the game? Hmm. Man, Regency Councils are boring. I kind of wouldn't mind giving the uh, the clergy some more influence. Just so we could get their national tax fund of our bonus up to 20%. Would it maybe make sense just to, to force their influence up? Ooh, I didn't realize we could gain patriarch authority here. So we could spend legitimacy and prestige to gain patriarch authority, temporary influence. Huh. My, my legitimacy is kind of crap. Making them lose in lose loyalty temporarily. I'd rather not do. Although the stability cost modifier doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, actually, that would probably be a good idea. While I like the 60%, and the fact that... And this is, again, where the interface needs to be more clear. It needs to tell you that if their loyalty drops, you're not just going to lose the stability cost modifier. You're also going to lose these local bonuses here as well. The, uh... The local missionary strength. That is an extra benefit. We covered that, like, two videos ago. Um, we'll still have the local unrest, but we don't need the missionary strength anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to steal some admin points from them. Uh, the nobility. Same thing here. If we could get them up a little bit. Looks like we lost. So lose prestige in loyalty and influence. Hmm. And if we got their influence above 50, we could actually just grant a generalship, which would give us... Wow, that's really risky. So it's got to be above 50, and it takes it up by 20. So you're basically taking them from 50 to, like, 70. Like, doing grant generalship just seems very strict. Maybe we should give the the burgers... Just a province, so we can get them to show back up on our list. The 
only trade good we have that's any good is up here. We've got salt. Three development. Three diplo. We gave this to the burgers. Local trade power goes up by 50%. Concerned right now that we're not getting any benefit from the burgers because we don't have them listed on the on the on the chart. So I'm thinking we need to do this. Croatian is Yeah, I think I want to do it. I'm just I'm just gonna give them a province. And so now the burgers are giving us just local trade power, and if we get their loyalty even higher. Now that they show up on our list, we can mess with them. So if loyalty is above 60%, development cost minus 2.5, and I think the reason why it's only 2.5 is because our our influence is so, so small. It's only 14%. I bet, I bet the maximum would be like 10% development costs, 20% trade efficiency. So, just gaining loyalty and influence here would possibly be good. Let's grant them monopolistic charters. And that doesn't unlock anything else. We would need to give them a bunch more land. But yeah, that did take trade efficiency from 5% to 10%. Hmm. Five early Carrick for 0% of the cost. Be pretty sweet. Five heavies for free? Well, this has certainly given me a chance to inspect the new mechanics. One year to go before our horrible, horrible character comes into power. Trier tells us of bronze cannons. Excuse me? Pretty sure I invented bronze cannons. Tech 7. Nation's Technologies. Tons of people have Tech 7. So I guess it's just a random event to change the, the value of copper. Looking for trade goods. Copper. Yeah. Just a random event that makes bronze, sorry, copper more valuable. I think that the more people who have Tech 7 unlocked, the more likely the event becomes, and it's just a random country that gets it to fire. That's fine. Interest per annum doesn't really benefit us right now, but may help eventually. Successful bureaucracy, cool. Keeping our forts active is costly, but. It's fine. The clergy gains influence. The clergy is currently at 52%. Getting the number 60% gets us uh, that stability cost modifier, and it's going to bump national tax modifier up. Or we can have them gain loyalty, but lose influence. For 15 years. It looks to me like this is permanent loyalty. Temporary influence. So I think in general we should err on this one. But. But I don't want to spend this money right now. Yeah, national tax modifier plus 20 is pretty sweet. Seals so declared war on Sicily. We site reconquest. Probably Aragonese. Cores. Yep. Well, we're almost there. Uh, we gotta start thinking about what we want to do war-wise. Like, could we could we still attack the papal state? Probably. The emperor has enacted a reform. Very well. Supporting the independence of. Hassa, we've not discovered yet. But we know, we know, we've, we've received a missive. Hey, we're supporting the nation of Hassa. Who? Hassa. I don't know who that is. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. We're not going to tell you where they are, or, you know, give you kind of, give you a map. Say, this country over here. No, no, no. We're just going to tell you. We're supporting them, just so you know. It's a secret. It's a secret country. It's real. It's made out of ice cream. And, uh, chocolate. 
Traveling Minstrel. Gain stability. Sounds great. Nation of Austria, faithful eyes requesting you come to their aid in the Austrian conquest of Verona against Venice. This is a war that they have started. Venice is allied with the Knights. Okay, um, I currently have no claims. No, I have one claim on Venice. I would like Istria, assuming that Austria isn't interested in it. They consider it to be of strategic utility, but not of vital interest. So, I think in that case we could say that it's of vital interest. And that shouldn't affect our relationship too much, if at all. Okay, um, can we start a fabricated claim on Istria as well? We can. So we'll we'll join the war. Let's uh, let's dock our boats up before we accept. We want them probably in Dalmatia, be the most defensive fort, and uh, I'll manually raise maintenance. So we'll wait a little bit. Okay, so this is good. This is good because Venice borders the Ottomans. The Ottomans, I don't think they've warned me again, have they? I forget. The Ottomans are subsidizing Switzerland. Fascinating. Are you coming home or not? I'm just, at this point now, I'm starting to, to worry that we're not going to make it back in time to accept this call to arms. When will you be there? March 27th. That's, that's soon enough. Okay. Navy safe. We accept. Yeah, the naval game is probably not going to work out for us. So all we really want to do, preferably, is, is somehow get to Corfu. Or go siege down this fort. We do probably need to participate in these battles, don't we? God, you called France in? Jesus, dude. Austria means business. He's, he's serious about this. Aha, I was here first. My contributions. My contributions. I'm contributing. <laughs> do we have siege value? We do have one siege pip. That's cool. Well, hopefully we get our claim on Venice before... Before Austria tries, tries to end the war. I'm concerned that uh, my overall participation is going to be rather meek. If I don't actually join any of these battles. But I'm not going to join any of these battles, because why would I do that? Or rather, we could join these battles, and if we did do that, we could just leave one regiment here for priority. Yeah, I think France is going to run away when it comes to... Like, war score, like, participation from this. I mean, actually, I'm at, 80, I'm at 8%, so these sieges, they count. I, I'm, I'm helping. No, really, I'm helping. Seriously, for serious. Who, who just won that fight? <laughs> They're both, like, running away. I think we did, but I'm not sure. I do not like being blockaded so heavily. But we've breached the walls, and we've got a 14% chance here. I'm assuming the cannon is here, yes. Which means that uh, it's kind of interesting that this one breached and this one did not. This one has twice the chance to breach right now. Wonderful, look at me, I've participated. 10%. Hell yeah. I'm going to pull these guys off. Just go do some looting, I suppose. We don't need to have that much there. Hell yeah, I took Treviso. Treviso still 10%. They seem to really want me to, like, do battles or something. Alright, I guess we're going to go do some battles. Look, I brought a cannon. It's Big Bertha. <laughs> you can see the name and everything. I'm participating! <laughs> Look at me and my participation! It's so good! Um, where are you guys running to? Right here, apparently. 
Oh, you cheating bastard. Look at that. France, France got all the participation. Stack wiping that whole army. Where else is even left to siege? We could try to get to Pisa. No, can't get to Pisa. Can't get to there. Okay, I guess we go home and we try to somehow finagle a path to to there. Despite the fact that the Ottomans are hostile toward us. Maybe if we schmooze with them a bit, I don't know. Maybe it could change. It's probably not going to happen, but maybe. Oh, wait, look, I killed something. I totally participated. Wait, that's blockade percentage. Damn, I was like, 100%, sweet. <laughs> no. I don't have my claim yet. Don't peace out. We can't win so hard. Stop winning so much. I don't see any way to get to Corfu. Which is really unfortunate. Nor do I see any way to, to get to these. Did I set these as vital interest? Well, they are now of vital interest, alright? Venice. They can't give them to me. This navy is just way too much, though. There's nothing I can do. And if the Ottomans won't give me military access... And Venice certainly doesn't have military access. And even if I did get military access, it's a straight crossing, so his navy would be able to shut me down. However, look at that. He's left the Gulf of Venice free. I, if I could cross that straight, Florence has just been pieced out. Uh, Florence will pay 93 ducats. I get 13. Cool. Total of three prestige will be div divided between Austria. Albania gets 0.4. Yeah, sweet. Maybe that's why we're doing so well on prestige, is that we're getting share shared prestige. Oh, he's got an army for me to kill. Excellent. I want to do this. Yay, we have our claim on Istria. Austria? I I demand 14%. I wonder how it's measuring the actual participation. Like, troop death? Troops killed? Like, what is it? Hey, 19%. Sweet, that actually helped me out. How'd you do this, France? How'd you do this? You sneaky son of a gun. Luck is out. We just gained uh, 0.5 prestige and 18 ducats. We're losing money now. Good reinforcement at the moment. We're also getting quite high on inflation again, um, despite having the yearly inflation reduction. It's not increasing by as much as it used to. It used to be like 0.3 per year. So... Uh, I think we, we hold off... Well, we want to do two things. Number one, we want to be nearby in case he leaves the Gulf of Venice free. And in, second, we want to let him cross into Treviso so we can go kill it. But, before we can end this war, I think I'm going to take a break here. So, alright. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you again in the next video. See you soon.